Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna to do applications of proportions. And of course, we can't get started without Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yes. All right, here we go, right there. Applications of proportions, Charlie. Now, suppose a car travels 65 miles per hour. How far does it go in seven hours? Well, first, let's talk about 65 miles per hour. What that is, is a ratio of 65 to 1, but it's 65 miles to 1 hour. And so we'll go ahead and write our ratio over there, and now we're going to set up our proportion. Remember, a proportion is an equation of two ratios. All right, here we go, Charlie. Now, in this problem, we are asked to find how many miles, right? How many miles are traveled in seven hours? And so notice, in our proportion problem on the right hand side we put x on top and that has to be the miles because the units must match if you put miles on the top on the left hand side you must have miles on the top on the right hand side and that's what we're looking for and so notice we put seven hours on the bottom right because how many miles are traveled in seven hours so there's our proportion problem 65 to 1 equals x over 7. now how do we how do we solve this charlie cross multiply that's right, cross multiply. Okay, now, 65 times seven is what? 455. That's right, and one times x? X. That's right, and so our answer is 455 miles, and so that's how many miles the car will travel in seven hours if it's going 65 miles per hour. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. On a road map, the scale indicates that one inch is equal to 70 miles. This means that the ratio, Charlie, of inches to miles is 1 to 70, which means 1 inch is the same as 70 miles, okay? Now, if the measured distance between two cities, Charlie, on the map is 8 and 3 fourths inches, how many miles apart are they? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our fraction into a decimal. Remember, 8 and 3 fourths is a mixed number, and 3 divided by 4 is what, Charlie? 0 0.75. 0 0.75, so our mixed number in decimal form is 8.75. That's 8 and 3 fourths inches, right? All right, so let's write our first ratio, and that ratio is coming from the scale on the map. One inch is 70 miles, and we measured 8.75 inches, right? We put that on top, and x is on the bottom, and notice we put miles in red because that's what we're trying to find. How many miles are the two cities apart on the map? And so there's our proportion problem. 1 to 70 is equal to 8.75 to x. And what do we do, Charlie? Cross multiply. That's right. x times 1 is x. And what's 70 times 8.75? 612.50. Very nice there, Charlie. And so 612.50 miles. That's how far apart the cities are according to that map. All right, Charlie, let's keep going. Here we go. A traveling salesman is paid 22 cents for every mile. He travels using his personal vehicle. Now notice, that's a dollar sign up there, right? Dollar, 0 0.22. That means 0.22 dollars, which is actually 22 cents, same thing. So this means that the ratio, Charlie, of dollars to miles is 0.22 to one. Remember, 0.22 dollars to one mile. And so, if the salesman traveled 473 miles last month, how much money does he receive for his travel? Okay, so we'll go ahead and write our first ratio, 0.22 dollars over one mile. Okay, and X is on top because we're looking for the dollar amount, right? And we put 473 miles on the bottom because that's how many miles he traveled, right? And so notice the units match up. We write a proportion problem and we do what, Charlie? Cross multiply. Very nice. So what's 473 times 0 0.22? 104.06. Very nice there, Charlie. And what's one times x? X. Very nice there, Charlie. So he receives $104.06. Very nice there, Charlie. So that completes our little lecture on applications of proportion. Oh, what fun. We'll see you all again soon. Grow Rebels!